Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to be building a screen for one of our windows. We have two of these windows in our bedroom. One's missing the screen. I took this out of the other window, so I need to make one exactly the same size. And a really easy way to do this is to just purchase a kit. Now this I got from Lowe's. You can find it at a lot of different hardware stores. And then I have got some extra strength screen and I'll be cutting that to size and fitting it in this kit. So stick around and I'll show you guys how to do this. All right, so I have the screen here. This is 27 and a quarter by 18 inches. The kit that I've purchased can do a window 48 inches by 48 inches, much bigger than the one that I'm gonna be making. It actually can make two windows of this size with this one kit. So it came with two springs. I guess two pull handles so you can easily take it out. And then the four corners, this is what ties it all together. So this gives you some instructions here how to do it. These instructions on this brand, however, does not show how to mount the springs on the screen window or the handles. I'll show you guys how I did that and it worked perfect. So I'm not sure what the correct way to do this is, but I'll show you guys that in a minute. Something to keep in mind while you're doing this, these corners add almost three quarters of an inch onto the frame on each side. So you're gonna wanna minus that from your overall measurement and make sure that you leave room for that or else it's gonna end up an inch and a half wider than your original window. Now you can use a hacksaw like the directions say, that takes a little bit longer, works perfectly fine. I'm actually gonna use a chop saw. It does really quick job at cutting this. Um, aluminum is really soft and with a normal blade you can cut through it no problem and it doesn't really do much damage to your blade so I'm gonna do that real quick I would stay away from using things like a circular saw sawzall or jigsaw they move too quick and can grab and bend the frame all up a chop saw is a lot more controlled and it cuts faster it leaves a nice smooth line so I'll take it over to the chop saw and cut these to size You can see it makes a nice clean cut and it's a lot more precise than a hacksaw would be. I have all four pieces cut out. Now I'm gonna start assembling using those corners. These just slide into place. It takes a little bit of force to push that in. As you're doing this, please be careful while you're pushing these together. It takes quite a bit of force and if you slip, that aluminum edge that we just cut with the saw is very sharp and can cut you. The frame is built, now we need to remove the rubber strips that are already installed on these frames. These strips are what holds the screen into place, you can't install it until you remove these first. Now I'm gonna take the roll of screen and roll this out over top of the frame and cut it down roughly to size. You wanna cut it a little bit larger than you need so that you can trim off the excess later and you don't end up cutting it too small. I'm gonna use a razor blade for this, but scissors would work fine as well.
In the instructions it said you have to have the special tool to press that rubber strip down into the groove, but I find just a regular screwdriver flathead or common does a great job pushing that down into that groove. So basically you want to lay the screen out over top of the frame and then you come back with that rubber strip, put it down on top of the screen, pushing it down into that groove. I found that it's really helpful if you work on one side, get that one complete, then you move to the opposite side. That keeps everything nice and tight and square. Once I finish those two sides I'll flip it and do the top and then the bottom. After installing all four sides, I'm going to come back with a razor blade and trim off all the excess screen. This makes it just look a lot nicer and cleaner once you're finished. The screen is installed, it looks nice and tight, no ripples in it. It's at this point that I'm thinking, okay, where do the springs go? And I probably should have put the handles in while I was putting the screen in. After looking at the springs, I came up with an idea and I wanna cut just a slit on top of this frame. I'm not going through deep at all, just enough to where I reach the hollow point of that frame. Then I'm gonna take that clip and I'll slide it down in that slit that I created and it actually works surprisingly well. So I almost think that this is how it's meant to be, maybe not, but it worked perfectly. The only other thing I could think of was it's supposed to be inserted into the frame before you put the corners on, but it was really tight and it didn't seem like that would have fit in there, but I'm not gonna take apart the frame at this point and undo the screen that I just installed just to put the springs on. So this worked a lot better. Next, I'm gonna pull up just a very small section of that rubber strip, and it actually didn't mess anything up. It worked just fine, but you could have installed these while you're putting the rubber strip down and wouldn't have to fool around with this afterwards. But I was actually focusing so much on keeping the screen straight and not have any ripples in it that it worked just fine for me to do the handle afterwards. That way I didn't have extra things to worry about. Now all there is to do is install the screen and enjoy it. We haven't been able to use this window because there was no screen and we just didn't want to let any bugs in. But now that there's some nice fall weather, we can open up the windows and let that cool air inside and enjoy the fresh air. All right, that just about finishes up the video for today. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, hit that like button down below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you have not already. I look forward to reading your comments down below in the comment section, so let me know what you think. A big shout out to all my supporters on Patreon. Thank you so much for all you do to help support the channel. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one.